Hello and welcome to the world of Mojato that opens up as soon as you go to mojato.com with a range of artwork and collectibles to choose from. But we come to you from an art exhibition held recently in honor of India's 69th year of independence where 69 artists got together to create their versions of freedom. We have a lot of independent art on Mojato and a lot of freedom to express it. However, when you have so much space around you, what also works is putting up big artwork on it. Here's how. Mojato is a one-stop shop for any of your art needs and uh, you know collectibles. You know there are wide varieties, uh, sort of, of sizes and media that is available on Mojato. Uh, large format work, you know, typically is uh, you know beyond uh, sort of one dimension, going beyond four feet, five feet, uh, and there are lots of such options on Mojato. Uh, typically, a large format work would be good uh, if it can be viewed from a distance. So I think that is important uh, to really do justice to a large format work, whether it's in residence or in a commercial space. You know, for instance, a, a, a waiting lobby or, or a staircase, uh, you know, for that matter. So which really gives you and allows you to see the work uh, from a distance. Uh, so, uh, you know, a, a colorful work or, or a minimalistic work, depending on the space that you're dealing with, uh, a large format work can really take care of a, of a large wall and, you know, really have, a, have an imposing presence. Uh, and, and lots of those options are uh, available on Mojato. Now, it's our constant endeavor to bring the best of artwork from some of the best art galleries across the country to you on Mojato as well. This time, it's the Threshold Art Gallery in Delhi that's put together a fascinating show. Mojato is a platform for the best of Indian art. Uh, it makes art uh, accessible to uh, everyone, literally. Uh, time and again, we collaborate with uh, leading art galleries of the country to bring a physical show uh, to the online platform. Uh, Gallery Threshold uh, brings revisiting beauty to Mojato and we are very excited and honoured uh, because uh, not only does it have the best of Indian artists, it also has artists from Pakistan. And they both are dealing and trying to sort of infer uh, in their own ways uh, the concept of beauty in, in the contemporary times. Whenever there's both Indian and Pakistani artists who can be seen together, I think it raises the inevitable questions of um, if we can have this conversation so amicably, why can it be not be replicated in politics? Why cannot be it be replicated in the media? Uh, because I think if you leave it to the artists, to the writers, to the musicians, to the creative minds of the subcontinent, I think we would see many things falling into place and we'd look towards a much brighter future. When you speak of beauty, you, know, you are reverting or reversing that process. So you have to perhaps find some kind of a dialogue between the two. And you cannot just speak of beauty as just heavenly, beautiful things. But it is to be associated with what we experience today in our life. That is why my own work is called Thinking Beauty in the time of terror. The way I look at life, the way I see life around me um, and how I react to it. All these experiences are kind of distilled and come in various forms in my own work. Revisiting Beauty is a series that we've planned at Threshold and it's a way of looking into the past, looking at the concept of beauty. The concept of beauty has changed with time. Beauty has not, but the concept of beauty has changed. So, uh, for this particular show, I invited 10 artists, three from Pakistan and seven from India, whose work is rooted in the miniature tradition. Um, you look at V. Ramesh's works, which are super realistic. You look at Neelima's, which quotes poetry, Gulam, which quotes poetry, um, Manisha Gera's work here, which are extremely personal. We have Zara, we have Varda, extremely talented artists who don't have to scream about their work, can be subtle, it, it can still, uh, you know, convey angst, it can still convey anguish. Well, the title of the show is Revisiting Beauty, but for me, beauty is always around me. Uh, and it doesn't have to be expensive objects. For me, beauty could be picking up seeds from across the seat and picking up feathers. My current passion is picking up feathers. 
So whatever, whatever actually makes you look at an object and it transports you, that for me is beauty. And uh, that's how I have always worked. I'm so happy to see that uh, a gallery is doing a show on beauty, which still recently was not a word which was being looked at with great delight in us. Well, that's all we have for you this week. But as we get out there, we notice that there's so much talent available, so many ways of expressing yourself, and we bring the best of it to you on Mojato, not week on week, but every day, every minute, every hour. Keep watching this space for more.